Advent is a time of anticipation. It's a time of excitement as we prepare ourselves for the coming Christ. In Christianity, the closest thing that we have that can compare is Lent as we prepare for Easter, as we prepare for the sacrifice of Christ and then his soon resurrection. But unlike an Easter in which we give up something, Advent is a time in which we take things on ourselves. We take on responsibilities, we take on obligations, we have traditions, and we have, frankly, a lot of expectations to live up to. And the anticipation of the season of Advent can really build up and become overwhelming for many of us. I've been thinking a lot about Christmas traditions over the last few months, and one that's not an official tradition, like our entire family going to the midnight Christmas service, or us, the siblings opening Christmas presents, Christmas Eve, or anything official, but it was rather an attitude that was had in my home. My brother growing up uh, is about seven years older than me, and he was the most excited person about Christmas. He was always the most enthusiastic, most willing, most ready to open presents and to be part of the season. So it didn't matter if he was 11 and I was like five, or if he was 21 and I was a high school student. Didn't matter, he was the one waking up first thing in the morning and getting us all out of bed to go open Christmas presents. Now, our seasons have changed. Our, our age has passed and we're different people. My brother is a father of two and moving to a different state for his dream job, and I'm here. And I love my job and my friends, but the last year has been tough. My wife and I separated several months ago. I didn't know how much my life would change, which is wild because, you know, everything changes with one of these moments. but. I frankly had been getting through it really well until last week. Um, last week was Thanksgiving and I was sick as a dog. I was on Thanksgiving morning, I was laying at home uh, on the couch eating soup with my dogs trying to be the best nurses they could be and I was just feeling miserable. I sounded worse than I do now and I was just in a bad place uh, and just realizing how much I was missing about the season. And then a friend texted me, a church friend, and she has been through a divorce herself and she knows what it's like to go through it. And she just sent a message saying, I know the holidays can be bad. I know." They can be tough, especially the first couple. And honestly, it was probably only a couple minutes out of each of our days, but it meant a lot to me because it was someone thinking and doing something that they didn't have to do during a time of happiness and considering someone else. It meant a lot. And that's what I think we are called to do during this Advent and Christmas season. We're of course here to celebrate, we're here to enjoy traditions, we're here to be part of something, but we're also supposed to be part of Emmanuel. Christ is here with us throughout our lives, but we as Christians, as part of the body of Christ, are called to be there for other people. We're called to be the feet and hands of God here. We're not at a time of miracles manifested. It's not a time or a place where limbs will grow back, where Lazarus will come back to life here. But we as Christians are called by our God, by our Lord Jesus Christ, to reach out to those in need to reach out for those who may be hurting, to reach out to those who may just need a text message or a phone call, or maybe more. Consider this now as we prepare for Advent, that 
It is a time of anticipation and preparation, but how can we each prepare not just to serve ourselves, not just to serve our families, but to serve our greater faith communities around us? Thank you.